Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Classes. In this video, I am going to show you how to draw the molecular orbital diagram for this CO molecule. This CO molecule is very very important in case of organometallic chemistry. So this mixing of orbital I have discussed in detail in my previous video. I will give you the link of that video in the description box. Second point is that we are going to compare this CO molecule with its isoelectronic nitrogen molecule. So that we are going to discuss here in the next slide. And apart from this, we are also going to discuss how this carbon monoxide molecule behaves as a sigma donor as well as pi acceptor molecule and that we are going to discuss in detail which is very very important feature of this CO molecule. So let's start with the video and this video is in continuation with this mixing of orbital right. So this is my nitrogen molecule molecular orbital diagram which I have already discussed in my previous video. Draw the molecular orbital diagram for this CO molecule. So here what are the changes which you are going to see here both are the nitrogen this is nitrogen and this is again nitrogen but here this side we are having c and this side we are having o the energy levels are same for these atomic orbitals whereas in this case we are having different energy or for these atomic orbitals of carbon as well as oxygen here also you can see this one right why it happens so so the reason behind this is that the effective nuclear charge for this oxygen atom is greater as compared to the effective nuclear charge for carbon. So what is this effective nuclear charge that I have also made one video on this effective nuclear charge and its calculation. I will also give you the link of that video here in the description box. And just because of this high effective nuclear charge of oxygen, the energy of 2s and 2p atomic orbitals of oxygen is less as compared to the energy of 2s and 2p atomic orbitals of carbon. You are thinking that uh, it is enough to draw the carbon monoxide molecule, then you are wrong. So now the question comes, what will be the correct structure for this? molecular orbital diagram of CO molecule. So here I am just going to show you but I will explain it in the next slide. So here uh, the structure is somewhat like this. Here you see the difference. Here is the difference for this 2s orbital. This structure is different right. Rest is same in both the cases. So this kind of difference is observed in the carbon monoxide molecule right so what is the reason behind this and uh, why it is so that i will explain in the next slide but here i am just going to show you how to fill the electrons in both the cases so here you can see the electrons are filled in this manner and in the same way i am just going to show you the filling of electrons in this case but what we are expecting we are expecting here in this case we are expecting the last electron filled in the sigma bonding molecular orbital. However, in this case, this is in non bonding sigma orbital, right? So, this is the difference here. So, what is that? We are going to see in the next slide, right? So, let's see this. So, here in this case, if we are having two different atom atoms, one is A and the other one is B and their electronegativity is different, then the mixing of orbitals, this mixing of orbital, this 2s and 2px or 2pz, whatever you say, these mix together to form hybridized orbitals. So, two or atomic orbitals mix together, this one and this two, they will form two hybridized orbitals, right? So this is how we are getting these two hybridized orbitals. Similarly on the right hand side 2s and 2px orbital mix together to form two hybridized atomic orbitals fine. And these hybridized atomic orbitals they combine together while forming the molecular orbital. So this we have already discussed. So I must suggest you to please go and check that video. Now coming to the molecular orbital diagram of CO. 
right so this side i have drawn c atom and this side i have drawn oxygen atom i am not talking about the 1s though they are there right 1s or atomic orbitals are there but here we are seeing the 2s and 2p atomic orbitals emphasisly so this is the 2s and 2p atomic orbital of carbon atom and these are the 2s and 2p atomic orbital of the oxygen atom right and this 2s and 2p atomic orbital energy difference is this much here this much is the energy difference between these two atomic orbitals what you are seeing the difference of 2s and 2p atomic orbital of this carbon atom is less as compared to the difference in energy for this oxygen atom so these two atomic orbitals combine together to form sp hybridized orbitals here you can see here i have written sp hybridized and sp hybridized atomic orbital similarly on the right hand side s and this one out of these three p orbital combine together to form sp hybridized atomic orbitals but here in this case the difference is high therefore the mixing is not that effective as in case of carbon atom therefore the hybridized orbital for this oxygen atom this one is very much close to 2s unhybridized orbital and this sp hybridized orbital is close to 2p atomic orbitals right so here these hybridized orbitals these are the p orbitals and this is now formation of carbon monoxide molecule and now the next point is that the energy difference of this sp hybridized orbital and this sp hybridized orbital is quite high so that they do not effectively combine together so what is going to be happen next we are having this sp hybridized orbital as non bonding it couldn't form any bond with this so it is non bonding sp hybridized orbital and uh, here this sp and this sp hybridized orbital combine together to form this sigma and this sigma star sp hybridized orbital so this in this manner they combine and form molecular orbitals fine so here is the sigma sp hybridized orbital and uh, this sp hybridized orbital since it is not having another atomic orbital to combine therefore it is again behaving like a non bonding molecular orbital now these p orbitals combine together and they will form pi and pi star molecular orbitals so this is the whole structure for this carbon monoxide so this is sigma non bonding non bonding sp hybridized orbital this is sigma sp hybridized orbital bond this is bonding again right this is bonding and this is pi x and pi y atomic orbit molecular orbital this is non bonding sigma orbital right sigma sp orbital this is pi star and this is our sigma star so i hope you understand how we can draw these molecular orbital diagrams now filling of electrons so in total it is having 14 electrons 6 for carbon and 8 for oxygen so in total we are having 14 electrons right so we are going to fill these 14 electrons so do not made a mistake here because we are having two atomic orbitals for combination of 1s atomic orbital of carbon and 1s atomic orbital of oxygen so four electrons will go there 1 2 3 and 4 now coming to this 5 6 7 8 here in this case 9 10 both are degenerated therefore first singly occupied 11 12 13 and 14 so this is how we are going to fill the elect 14 electrons now coming how to write the electronic configuration for this co molecule so we are going to write this these are uh, 1s sigma and 1s sigma star will be represented by this k k prime and then sp 
hybridized orbital is having two electron then sigma sp hybridized orbital it is having two electrons again pi x pi y these two are having two two electrons and uh, next is sp non bonding right so in some of the text it is written as sigma non bonding sp hybridized orbital and here again sigma non bonding sp hybridized orbital right so in either way you can write down right the next thing is that to calculate the bond order so the bond order is we are going to calculate by 1 by 2 number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital minus anti bonding molecular orbital so in the bonding molecular orbital from here you can count so two electrons here two four and uh, we are having 10 electrons in the bonding molecular orbitals minus four electrons four electrons how so here k star is having 2 and this sigma sp is 2 so four electrons so 1 by 2 10 minus 4 we will get 6 upon 2 and in this manner we are having the bond order for this carbon monoxide molecule is 3 means c triple bond c is there fine if we are having this co plus molecule means one electron is removed from there so the last electron is removed from this sp but on study it is observed that the bond order for co plus molecule is 3.5 on formation of co plus it becomes more stable the next point which i am going to show you here that the the energy of oxygen atomic orbitals are very close to the energy of bonding molecular orbitals here you can see this is very close to the bonding molecular orbital as compared to the anti bonding molecular orbitals and these anti bonding molecular orbitals are close to the nature of carbon and these bonding molecular orbitals are close to oxygen and uh, this we can also study in case of hydrogen fluoride molecule so the since the more contribution of uh, more electronegative element is towards the bonding molecular orbital therefore the lone pair of electron will be shifted towards the fluorine atom and therefore it acquires the partial negative and partial positive charge so from here we can understand that the more electronegative element have more contribution towards the bonding molecular orbitals whereas the more electropositive element have more contribution towards the anti bonding molecular orbitals now coming to the next point how this carbon monoxide molecule behaves as a sigma donor as well as pi acceptor molecule at the same time so that is the beauty of this carbon monoxide molecule so first we are going to discuss its sigma molecular orbital so this is the first sigma molecular orbital which is the non bonding and uh, here it is formed by the uh, contribution of sp hybridization of 2s and 2p of oxygen right and the second one is by the sharing of both 2s and both carbon and oxygen molecule so this is the bonding molecular orbital again this is the non bonding this is bonding molecular orbital and here in this case this is the anti bonding molecular anti bonding molecular orbital and this is on the carbon atom right this is on the carbon side so these are the uh, sigma orbitals in co molecule other than the 1s atomic orbital right so here what we are going to see that this anti bonding molecular orbital is is having electrons it is filled and therefore this is called highest occupied molecular orbital this sigma non bonding sp hybridized orbital is called highest occupied molecular orbital and here since this uh, anti bonding molecular orbital on this carbon molecule is having electrons therefore it can donate these electrons to the metal d orbital metal d orbital and therefore this uh, behaves like a sigma donor here i have written this is formation of sigma bond they effectively overlap and sharing of electrons will takes place now how this behaves as a pi acceptor molecule so here in this case 
we are just going to see the pi molecular orbitals. So this, these are the pi molecular orbitals and these are the pi star molecular orbitals. So here the structure is given like this. So here pi molecular orbitals and uh, this is pi star. Fine. So this pi star having bigger lobes on the carbon side because as I told you earlier that uh, anti-bonding molecular orbitals are having more contribution of the more electropositive element. Therefore, these are having bigger lobes, right? So this uh, is uh, unoccupied since up to this we are having filled molecular orbitals and above this we are having empty molecular orbitals. So this is called LUMO or lowest unoccupied molecular orbital right and just because of this uh, structure of this uh, lowest unoccupied molecular orbital and here and they effectively overlap and since this is empty therefore it can accept the electrons from the filled molecular orbitals and therefore it behaves like a pi acceptor molecule and formation of pi bond takes place in case of metal to carbonyl compounds right so this is all about the molecular orbital diagram and its behavior as sigma donor and pi acceptor ligand i hope you find this video helpful if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and like share and subscribe thank you all thanks for watching